Hi, for today's teardown, the Polaroid Vision Autofocus SLR camera. So it is a design of camera by uh, Polaroid, which use uh, instant Polaroid film, but which is at the same time a folding camera and a single lens reflex. So it does uh, fold like this with uh, billows for the light, light proof billows. In this part, uh, this front cover transparent here is just for design, I believe, because it has no purpose when the lid is closed. Very simple controls. One uh, unfold button here. Your shutter here, obviously. This I do not know on the self timer. Uh, maybe two LEDs here, I am not sure. On one of our uh, light indicator or something here. It is uh, worth only 5 euros in good condition on eBay. I was expecting it to be a collectible camera, but not. Uh, in fact, uh, there is a screw hole here for a, a tripod. So, about the film, it uses the Vision 95 film. I have an empty cartridge of it here. So it is loaded with instant uh, photos and the first uh, layer when you purchase it I believe is a demi uh, black uh, layer and you have to shoot one time to uh, activate the film. It will protect from the daylight when you remove the film from the package. And there is something and, and here is obviously where you will output your uh, photos when they are made. They will appear here, I believe, and you can remove them here without undoing your main film cartridge. Uh, about the camera made in USA with serial number here, but the push for it was made in China. So there is something particular with this cartridge of film is that it has at the same time the battery for the camera. You see the two contacts here and actually we have a flat battery in here. So I will start by opening it. So it is just a non-rechargeable single use alkaline battery I believe in a flat design. So I will first test if we have any life remaining in it. Uh, 0.8 volts, so not a lot, obviously. And I will try to pop it open in order to see what it looks like. So I did already probe a little bit, it is ungluing here. Okay, 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 quite easy in fact. And it is, uh, yes, Polaroid Polapulse battery. Do not open, do not put in fire. Dry battery components, so I do not know if there is anything dangerous in this or not, I do not believe. So, if you want, tell me if you want me to open this battery. But I believe it will just be a stack of uh, layers of materials with not much to see. Quite uh, interesting flat design and this is now just an empty box going to a scrap. So about the camera itself, the taking it, uh, it apart is actually quite a challenge because it uses uh, miniature Robertson screws. Look, the screw is uh, actually square, and it is almost impossible to find a matching screwdriver, or it is super expensive by we are brand almost 100 euros. So, what I did do is uh, take from my drawer uh, all the junk uh, cheapo 
Philips co-drivers and I did file them to a square shape and actually it is working. So we have two sizes of screws. I did at, uh, already work loose the screws. So I expect to find mostly a lot of plastics in here, but also some electronics and motor because uh, it is a all automatic camera with autofocus, so it must have some uh, features interesting. So these ones are long screws 3D in plastic. And already this part is coming off. The belt is coming off, and we have this wall assembly here. Not sure what it is. Oh, it is a uh, assembly with a motor inside, and you can see uh, actually <coughs> probably not the proper way to remove it, but not a big deal. Yes, the photo will uh, travel here with uh, these rollers. And they did also use the same miniature Robertson screws inside the camera. Quite interesting. Why is it? Usually, when you put special screws, it is to uh, avoid uh, people tampering with the device. But here, they did use it all the way. So I hope my screwdriver will last long enough. So uh, I will continue to undo screws. And it is auto focus, so we might have some kind of uh, focus sensor. We will find out. Mm. Yes, I did already check that all the external screws at least were uh, possible to loosen without destroying my temporary screwdriver. Well, I will keep it as long as possible, but. I not, do not expect it to live very long. Okay, we have here some uh, flat flex with a weird this device here. I'm not sure it is not soldered. Maybe it is spot welded, or maybe it is just press fit. Quite uh, interesting. The flat flex is going up to the Motor here, and more of the miniature Robertson screws. Of course, I will continue with these screws here. Really, a whole bunch of plastics. But uh, I believe not uh, many people did already take them apart because of uh, special screws. So it is a YouTube first for sure. Okay, so we, with this piece off, it does not reveal a lot more, just uh, more screws to undo and uh, more flat flex. So the next step, I guess, should be to undo this door here. does not seem to be really easy. Ah, maybe, maybe I can do something with these metal tabs here. Try to put them out of the way. This is totally experimental, guys. Yes. And the same thing here. Okay. A little bit more of access. It looks like yes, I really need to undo the uh, thing here. You know what? So I will try to pry it like this. The hinge. No. Oh. Okay, I see. Here is this. There is this. I need some tires to 
colonnette ok same thing on the other side so really simple design here yeah. ok and now this whole thing is coming off so what do we have in here so metal piece and the pressure plate for the film the two rollers here uh, by the way the main plastic assembly inside seems to be glass reinforced plastic so just uh, the mechanism that will uh, take the, the photo at the correct uh, position when it is done, I believe. Some springs and stuff to retrieve in here, but I will not uh, dig in it uh, right now. It, not, uh, nothing, not, nothing to see in particular in this. Let's uh, still try to see what happens with this uh, mirror when I unfold actually it is quite weird because it does nothing so there is some kind of a mirror but I was expecting it to move not at all interesting uh, I need to undo more screws a lot more screws. Uh, let me zoom a little bit first and refold and undo. Yes, all the screws here on the top first. Could reveal some mechanics. Three up. It is really a lot of tedious uh, little parts, this thing. Look here, more of this. Uh, kind of plastic shaft yes like this and like this and now it is unfolding like such uh, we see a little bit better the below here below whatever you call it oops okay Where the construction probably very uh, tedious to build. But it is always like this with uh, Polaroid cameras, they are always made in complicated manners. And really, not uh, always easy to. I think uh, with, um, uh, I have more screws. This is really where they did use all the way around this uh, miniature uh, Robertson screws. Okay. somewhere looks like uh, maybe I need first to undo this part here lots of stuff in here by the way yes this part is off this is coming off and uh, either I am missing a screw somewhere or I am just annoyed by this flat flex. Yes. Okay. One more plastic piece here with your uh, view vendor lance, I believe. And a whole bunch of metal parts. Look at that contraption, guys. I was not expecting such a weird thing. So yes, the contacts are just press fit against the flat flex, no solder whatsoever. Quite uh, 
and then the wall stuff. Ah, here is your uh, frame counter up to 10 apparently, only not a lot. What it looks like, yes, all this is just coming off by pulling. Wow, really weird way to make a camera. Quite amazing. One more of this. Uh, Little metal rods here, you have to undo. I was not expecting such a construction. Everything is falling apart now. This should come off. Uh, little springs. Everything is uh, in place either with uh, springs or with uh, little metal rods. Or just with another piece in the contact. Quite unusual. How complicated it is. Look at this. Everything is coming off. So debugging uh, one camera like this is, I believe, nearly impossible. Because all these parts coming, going, working together. This is really, really insane. I was not expecting such a kind of contraptions. One more of these things here. Okay, it looks like we are done with this side. Uh, the flag flex is still stuck in place. At least we have brass contacts here to retrieve. I believe they have uh, battery contacts. Really mm. unexpected construction for a camera. Mm. Ok, uh, what next? I will attack on this side now. Well, my screwdriver did do the trick apparently, and I am able to undo the camera completely. Good to know. Okay, more plastic parts, more metal parts will just press fit against the flat flex. I believe. Here we have a contact to the motor. If I just pull, yes, it will unplug. Wow. Really different from Japanese cameras for sure. We have here a little bit of a sticky type securing in place the flat flex. And now, what next? I need to find a way to undo this piece and yes, always the same design the metal parts to undo they can be useful for something else maybe I will keep them ok uh, it is almost loose Almost. This. Ok, coming like so. Oh. Big article piece in here, you can see. This should come also. Oh, more parts are just falling off. Quite insane construction, guys. And this is glued. Oops. Here we are. I did just damage the flat flex, but at least. So here we have this contraption. Some kind of a Fresnel mirror at one side. And a regular optical mirror. Or maybe this is for the viewfinder actually. And more uh, metal pieces like such. Ok, uh, everything here is not loose, 
nothing in here about the motor and look at this the motor is actually secured by Philips screws and I believe this was the part going into the motor some kind of a planetary gear construction ok I did uh, damage this piece here black rubber in a decent condition not decaying ok so here one more Philips screws one more uh, screw not sure why but it is keeping in place just this little plate ok I will undo the motor later from here so we are left with the main assembly it seems main mirror actually glass mirror so try not to break it seems it is glued maybe here I will go ahead and cut here everything I do not need So it is not uh, probably the correct way to uh, take apart this camera guys but I do not believe there is any correct way to take apart such a camera anyways so let's break this thing quite amazing how oh, it is all put together so I wonder how they ah, yes, it is glued here so I will see what I do with this mirror if I uh, try to save it or not it is dirty already so usually such uh, mirrors you cannot even uh, clean them because the difference with a uh, uh, bathroom mirror and an optical mirror is on a bathroom mirror you have the glass and then the silver coating but on an optical mirror, the silver coating is actually the active side. And the main problem with it is that it is very delicate and will take scratches very easy. There is already one on here. Yeah. Okay. So we are left with uh, the main unit here. We have what seems to be one uh, special shape mirror to focus the picture at the correct spot. Or oh, there is uh, some light indicator in here. So, what to do with this part? Really, here I do not see any screw or anything, or maybe clips here. There is uh, the flat flex is connected here with uh, some connector at least silver tracks on this and uh, there is a mess on my bench I see a clips in here try to pry this open not the correct way or maybe I should try to undo this part maybe it is glued or something like this yes ok easy enough ah there is a secret ah, it is probably the self timer indicator here ah and here are the electronics because yes I did not uh, figure out so far then I did not find any real electronics only uh, contacts and uh, flat flex but no components here they are so here we have one more screw for the flash body rear cover of the flash And actually, I believe it is all the same piece. So I have to undo the other screws here also. Okay. 
this should be my video thumbnail, I believe. Ah. Quite really, really strange construction. I, be, uh, I uh, wonder how reliable they were because when you see the contacts are not even soldered to the, to the reflex, but just uh, press fit. Okay, we have a main cover. We have uh, the electronics at least. Oh, this might be also a good uh, thumbnail. Yes. Very nice. So, uh, refill circuit board here, flash capacitor, two solenoids, one probably for the uh, focus, and one for triggering, I believe. More uh, contacts not even soldered to the board here. Look at this. This is just press fit again. Really, really weird. So how does it come off this board? I wouldn't do this piece. That is in the way. So detach an anoid here with just uh, contacts like this. We have to... Unclip this. Mm. is part of the way to undo it. Okay. Okay. So, here are the electronics for it. Uh, more than expected, actually. These are the contacts for the uh, flat flex coming in here. We have uh, one LED here, one uh, infrared sensor here, it seems. Uh, this seems to be a uh, buzzer. One of three integrated circuits. And it is on. So this might be a special uh, processor. Custom processor for doing all the work. And it is all big flash capacitor as expected. Yes, two uh, red and green LEDs so that uh, are be located behind this clear plastic here. And uh, it is almost everything. Uh, one lance here at least. Yes, plastic lance. It is also something with uh, Polaroid cameras. They did extensively use plastic lance. So, not as good as a glass lance. Not terribly bad, also, but and here is for you the uh, I see number copyright 1986. Okay. So, here I believe I can try to save this piece. Seems to be a special optical piece. Yes, curved shape mirror. On, uh, I am done, I think. Yes, See everything is now in part. Oh, look at this. You, uh, what is this? Is it for the autofocus? Ah, yes. It must be some kind of uh, telemeter autofocus with uh, these two little uh, lenses and some kind of uh, filters here. And here also some uh, filter assembly. So all the mystery stuff. But it is in front of 
ça. UV, ça semble aïe. So it is infrared télémetteur sensor, apparently. That will detect uh, distance of uh, subject you take in photo. Ok. Well. Uh, that was interesting. I did not expect such uh, construction at this level of uh, weirdness. Really? Many, many, many parts. Not a lot of screws. Oh, here is the main solenoid. I will retrieve a copper out of it. And quite a bunch of electronics, but uh, maybe I did take a part of sensors without even noticing because it needs to know uh, if there is a film, if, uh, if the process is working correctly, if the film is uh, traveling, if the photo is traveling, or maybe not. Yes, a bunch of contacts here that will be actuated, in fact, by uh, different uh, pieces. So it is probably the main part of the automation of the system, detecting where are the mechanical uh, units located, just with contacts like this. Quite uh, unexpected construction, really. I do not uh, am happy to have uh, done this tear down because it is really one of a kind. So I have now a few parts to clean out on my bench. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.